Louis can't get a dollar out of me. Woo! I am hyped for today's day in our life. You guys love them, so we're doing more of them, okay? First thing we're cooking, we're starting this at 7 p.m. today. And at 8 o'clock, I'm selling £3,000 worth of sneakers for £1 on whatnot. So I'm just preparing all of the shoes for that. We're going to go live, and this is where we do like 60-second auctions for a load of shoes. It's going to be mental. But you need to watch today's video because some of the pairs that we have received is nuts. We'll now see you during the live whatnot show. Right, everyone can say hi in the chat here. We are now dropping the Supreme SV Dunks. We're starting about one pound. We've had some pre bids up to 2.30, but we're about to launch it. OG Richie's in here. What's up? There you go in the chat. What's good? Brit Dog, One Love London, let's go. Sam, let's go. Right, we're starting it. As you can see here, look. Start auction. One pound. If you ain't in the whatnot shows, you're missing out. One pound, let's go. Oh my God. I think we just beat whatnot UK sneaker records. We had 150 people during that stream. And we sold 2,200 pound worth of sneakers in literally an hour and a half. I had Jordan 4s at a pound, Supreme SV Dunks at a pound. It was nuts. But now comes the fun part of packaging up all the orders. And then we've got a load of orders also to unbox. And let's package up these orders as fast as we can. The last two sales are actually uh, eBay sales, and these have been moving weirdly quick recently. I've sold four in the last three days, and these are just Yeezy 350 Onyxes, right? And these were sitting on the Adidas website for three days. This is when Yeezy Day happened, and uh, a lot of people were put off that they were sitting in stock. However, I still copped 30 pairs of them. Well, you may ask, well, I am very, very stupid. However, there's some logic to my stupidness sometimes. Basically, you never know what shoe is going to go up in value, all right? When I heard that these shoes we're never ever gonna restock again and it was the last ever time these were gonna drop there's still prices on there from SneakerCon. I decided to just get a full size run and multiple of size runs yes they did not sell straight away I've only started selling them recently on eBay however at events they sell for 240 a couple sell every event and now I've got 10 left and they've all sold for at least 20 pounds profit so an in-stock item has made me 400 pound profit already the other one is another Yeezy 50 and also was very easy and in stock at one point Point to cop the lower sizes and this is the size UK 5 we'll get this shipped off to eBay and we've just done all the other ones as well and damn we have like 30 parcels to drop off it's gonna be a, a long one am I recording this clip for the second time yes did I record this whole clip yesterday after packaging 35 pairs of shoes recorded all of this then realized the mic wasn't on rage quit and decided to do it today instead also Yes. But let's get into the best part of today's video, and that is the unboxings, because we have some very cool stuff today and some very hype sneakers to unbox. However, we are starting off with what did Kai waste his money on this week, and we have quite a lot of Supreme bits today. First things first, I decided to spend £40 on a Supreme zipper. Is it cool? Yes. Do I smoke? No, I don't. But I mean, look at it. Isn't that cool? Will I carry it around even though I don't smoke? Yes. Will I do funky tricks with it? Also, yes. Something I will use, Supreme cards. Now these are cool. I think these are about £45 or £30, something like that. They're actually Bicycle Card, which is the main brand for, uh, for cards. Again, do I need it? No. Is it cool? Yes. I also got the small ones with it as well. And probably the most stupid purchase is, uh, is this. By the way, don't worry, we do have good shoes coming as well. So, uh... <laughs> Did I just buy Supreme paint spray cans? Yes. Have I ever used spray paint in my life before? No. But I mean, look at them. How cool do they look for de like for decoration? I'm thinking like on the shelf, I can have it like that. I mean, look at the colors. And just a quick one, we've got two Supreme t-shirts. Not really much to see there. That one's only 20 quid. This one was 45 pounds. This is the NBA Young Boy uh, Supreme t-shirt, which I will be keeping for myself. Let's get on to the shoes. So first things first, we had a little nice bulk deal. Um, you would have seen we did auction one of these yesterday, but we did pick up two pairs. This is a size eight, which will actually be going in the crates behind me because this is a personal that I bought. Yes, yeah, super, super clean looking pair. These have actually really surprised me, these Supreme Dunks. I'm actually going to put them behind me right now. I think they can go in there. That can go. I did unbox these, however, I didn't open them, mainly just because um, I didn't want my address showing. This was part of the bulk deal with the uh, Supreme Dunks. We got two pairs of stone, no, three pairs of stone salts, one size nine and two size 11s. Decent on them. 
Uh, this is just a pair of fuchsias. These are all deliveries in the last two days, by the way, guys. Uh, but yeah, these move really well, especially at events. So really happy for to get some more of these. Don't worry, there's some heaters coming. But this is the main shoe that I have waited for two months. Can you guess what they are? The SB Dunk Born and raised look at that sneaker but yeah these were actually supposed to release like two months ago now however essentially what happened was is just before the release i think it was about a week before the owner or one of the owners of uh, born and raised unfortunately suddenly passed away really really unfortunate um not just because of the shoes but born and raised is a big brand out there okay because of that sneakers never released these shoes okay so the big release of these never actually happened in response Respect of the owner, which I 100% rate. Born and Raised did decide to do one drop on their website, first come first serve, very, very limited stock, and we got very lucky to cop these. All the way from the US, retail of about £120, and wow, this pair has not let me down. You get three extra pairs of laces. You have the pink ones, you have the white, and you have two pairs of white ones. One is bright white, one is like an off-white color, and also you've got the pink and blue laces and the blue stock laces as well. The translucent sole with also the SB Dunk label on the bottom as well. The shiny sole, the writing on the front, the stars on the toe box. It's just an insane sneaker. These were so rare and just in due respect of the owner passing away, I am not going to be reselling this sneaker. This is actually going to be going behind me as well. I could make over £350 profit on this sneaker. Um, I will never sell it unless I really, really urgently need money. So these are going out of the rotation and these are going in the rotation. And I can promise you that they will not be moving for a very, very long time. Unfortunately, it's not my size, the UK 6, as I would love to wear it. However, I could not get a UK 8. I decided to go for a smaller size, thinking it'd be a bit easier to cop them. And I was right. Another absolute banger. This is a 270 box, but these are actually the Travis Scott 270s. Ignore the StockX tag. I didn't buy it from StockX. I have checked these, legit checked these. These are all good. But yeah, super clean looking sneaker. This actually looks worn on the bottom, but it is brand new. Uh, this is a UK 8. Also my size. Will I keep this one? I don't know. I probably will take it to events and uh, see if it does sell. If it doesn't, I'll keep it for myself. So this, again, is going to be put behind me. I'll tell you what, I'll put these up here for now. Uh, these are Air Max 95 Ultras. I've started to delve into the Air Max market a little bit more just because you've probably heard me mention this before, but these apply to the general public. Um, I can get these way under retail. I actually got these for over half of retail. And even if I sell them for retail, I'm looking at about £90 profit. So um, this sort of stuff does do very well. I've got a Liverpool event coming up. They love the Air Maxes. I'm actually very local to Liverpool, so I know the market quite well. So we've got a full size of them, eight to 12, five pairs of them. You don't realize how much you spent until you go through your stock, man. Um, I got these for an absolute steal. Um, I'm not going to uh, even tell you guys because you guys will go mental if you told you what price I got these at. Ask me how, I'm just him. But yeah, brand new pair of Polar Blues, way under retail, happy with that. Brand new pair of St. John Dunks as well. We picked up a couple of these last video. Um, yeah, clean pair, again, way under retail, this pair. So even if I sound for retail, I'm still looking at very good margins. And finally, we have a box of goodies. We have two Mint Milers. They actually got online for, again, below retail. Happy days. These are actually selling really well on eBay for like £50 at the moment. So I'll actually be looking to make £30 profit on these t-shirts. They do really, really well. Arguably the best t-shirts ever made. Uh, the quality and the price are only £20. But they collabed with Kors, which is also quite a hype sneaker, streetwear brand, hype beast brand. Um, and yeah, the low retails on these is perfect. I actually got these below retail. So all of these t-shirts were below £20. Also got the hoodie for below £20 as well. So yeah, some really, real good stuff. All the orders are boxed up. Now we need to ship them off. Not the most practical of cars for uh, for bulk shipping. Put in the back seat. Let's go. All right, the car is uh, pretty much rammed. If you want to show you the boxes, um, just about fit all 30 in the in the car. Uh, but yeah, sales have been really good recently. We've done about um, I'd say near three grand in uh, the last week of uh, shoe sales. Obviously, this is not all profit. 
Um, we, we tend to work usually on about a 30% basis, obviously some are a lot more, some are a little bit less. Um, but yeah, I think it's the, uh, the Christmas hype starting to build, everyone's starting to do Christmas shopping. So everyone who is a reseller, you really should be focusing on uh, these upcoming weeks. Uh, with Christmas, everyone starts shopping early. eBay sales are up. I've sold uh, over a grand on eBay in the last two weeks. Um, so yeah, get all your listings up, put that work in, get some new stock in, ready for the Christmas demand. Um, I'm not gonna record in the post office just for you know obvious reasons. I've got 35 parcels that I've got to hold. Uh, so we're not gonna be filming that part, but we're gonna get home and then we've got some more exciting stuff to do as well. So I'll see you when we are back home.